Hey guys, welcome to my eyeballs. Right now we're gonna be doing the mascara routine that I always do whenever I wear mascara. It's been highly requested, so I'm finally getting around to doing it, which I'm really excited for. And so the first step is to use an eyelash curler, of course. What I like to do is I curl the very base, like almost pinching my eyelid, but not quite, because we don't want to pinch the eyelids. So I curl it right there first. As you can see, it already makes a huge difference between this eye and this eye. And then, what I like to do is I then go in the middle, like not as close to my eyelid. And then I curl kind of like the very top just to make them stick almost straight up. The thing that I do next for my mascara routine is I'll take a Q-tip, clean, dry Q-tip, and I'll run it on my tight line, which is right here. And this is an optional step, but I do think it helps making in making your lashes look a lot thicker. So I'll run it along. I'll tight line my eyes. The reason why you want to do this in order to have the appearance of thicker lashes is because when you tight line your eyes, it looks like you have a thicker kind of lash band. And this is why a lot of people think that I wear fake lashes when I don't. It's because I tight line and it gives the effect of a fuller lash line. And that's what can help make your lashes look thicker. But now I'm going to be moving on to mascara. So the first product I like to use is the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes Mascara. I love this mascara. I will never stop using this mascara. I love it because of the kind of spoon shape, but it is a little bit curved. So I feel like it really hugs my lashes because your lashes are in that shape. I'm going to hug it at the base, but not touch my lash line because then it will start smudging. So what I do is I hug it there and I start wiggling up. I don't know if you can see this motion. I kind of like a sawing, jiggling, wiggling motion. And this just helps to coat the lashes more evenly. I'm using an extremely light hand. I'll wiggle my brush up and then take the tip of the brush and kind of coat the outer lashes like so, just to kind of get them because when you're wiggling the brush, in the middle, sometimes your lashes on the outside might be left out, so I like to just coat them a little bit. So I'll do that. So that's my first coat. If you just wait a little bit, you can take a brush or a Q-tip and kind of um, wipe away the little mascara flakes that might have fallen onto your face. I'm moving on to my next mascara. I do like to layer my mascaras and I use this one on top which is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express one and I do use this one in waterproof. So the first mascara I only use in the non-waterproof version. So with this mascara, since this is more of a wet formula and this bottle is a little bit newer than the other one, I'll kind of coat this, this eye first couple seconds and then I'll move on to the next one so I don't dip back into the bottle because this is a more wet formula I don't want to ruin what we just did with the first mascara and like make this one super wet if you know what I mean like I don't want to deposit too much mascara on this one at one time so I'll split it in between the two I just like to make sure that it's evenly dispersed and that I don't overcoat one or the other at a time. I use this mascara, the first one, to separate my lashes because it makes it look very natural. That's why I like to use this one on natural days. And then I like to use this one to give me the volume and give me like the volume and the length, I guess, because as you can see, just looking at this eye, it looks like I have so many more lashes than what we started off with. And that's why I prefer using this one. So again, wiggling motion, go up, and then kind of separate them with this brush. One tool that I will recommend to you guys is this mascara comb. Mine is kind of dirty. So this might be kind of difficult for me to film, but basically I just take this comb and I run it through my lashes. Be very careful with this because the prongs on this comb are very sharp. So just exercise caution when you're using this. Just remind yourself that you are, you know, dealing with it near your eyes. So to be very careful. 
but basically I just go through and I comb my lashes. This helps to separate them even more than when you're doing the wiggling motion with the mascara. This really helps to separate them out. Um, and it, I do this in between layers because I want to make sure that the next layer that I do, I have a nice, you know, I guess a nice array of lashes to deposit the mascara on so that I'm not doing another layer to just make them even clumpier. So I like to comb them out with my comb. At this point, after that layer has had time to dry and after I comb them, then I will go back into my Falsies mascara. And this one I do like to kind of rub the wand of my brush on the neck of the bottle because this tends to be quite a wet formula. If you have a fresh bottle, make sure to do that so it's not as gloopy. So then I just go again, wiggling motion, and I'll move on to the other eye so I don't get too much on the first one. And then just keep on wiggling through. Mascara on them. Again, I definitely do do a wiggle, but as you know, that's the benefit of video. You can see what I'm doing every step of the way. It's kind of like I'm on autopilot every time I do my mascara now, so you can see what I tend to do when I do my mascara. I'll do a wiggle, and then I'll kind of just brush through with the wand. You can kind of feel when you hold the mascara wand in your hand, you know, where you need to put more product and where you need to separate out your lashes. So. It's a little bit hard to explain in that way since you can't feel exactly what I'm feeling, but you kind of get the hang of it once you start doing this routine, you know, almost every day. I like, um, again, how this one separates my lashes, so I'll go back in after two layers of the falsies and I'll go in and just kind of coat this one because this one is more of the C shape or I guess the spoon shape. So it helps to kind of coat a little bit more evenly up here. And also what I like to do, I know some people don't like to do this, but I, I like it. I like to go behind my lashes and get the tops because I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the tops, like it looks a lot thicker on the bottom, obviously, because that's where you're starting to deposit the mascara. But when you hit the tops, like it just looks, you know, your lashes will look longer if the tops are visible. For sure this one I feel like I can get into all of the little nooks and crannies um, in my eyes because of how the wand is and also how the bristles are on this brush. So my last layer I'll take my falsies again and just really lightly, like super light hand because this is again more of a thicker formula. I'll go really lightly and just coat it. This is when they start to look a little bit spidery. So again, to each his own, if you don't want them to look like that, if you were happy with how they looked before I started doing this layer, then you don't have to move on. But I, you know, I'm okay with a little clump. I'm okay with a little spideriness. So I'll just coat super lightly. Like I can't even describe how lightly I'm holding this mascara wand, but. I just like to kind of run it through really quickly like that and then I'll let that dry for a second. As it's drying, I will do my last pass with the uh, mascara comb, just kind of to separate it as much as possible. Sometimes I'll go, as you can see, behind, but I like to do that just to kind of get rid of the chunks. Um, if there's any that are kind of just hanging out, you know, without permission. I like to curl them again after I put on mascara. Actually, that was a little too light. I'll press, not too hard though. And it just, I just feel like it helps them stand up a little bit more, which to me, I like. Um, I just like how it helps them stand up. They look perkier, they look a little bit more fake, if you will. So again, I'll just kind of press at the base. And it's really the wax in the mascara and the waterproof mascara that helps them stand up like that when you curl them again. So that's just my two cents. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, if it makes you uncomfortable, but that is just 
what I do so I just wanted to share that with you okay so that is what my lashes look like after I'm done with mascara um, they do look different you know every single day depending on how you know how old the mascara I'm using is if it's a little bit more dry I think in my everyday makeup tutorial video that I did um, a couple months ago um, that one my lashes looked very long because like my mascara tubes were at the perfect consistency so it's always gonna depend on you know I guess how patient you are that day it's always gonna depend on how dry the mascara is that day how much you wipe off I mean I think they look pretty good today but I've definitely seen them you know better I just wanted to emphasize again that your patience with the routine as well as the consistency of your mascaras is gonna make a huge difference because um, as you can see um, today my lashes look a lot longer than they did when I finished filming the routine part of the tutorial and it has to do with the fact that I was just a lot more patient today it really depends on Again, you know, how wet or dry your mascaras are that day, how patient you are, and all those kind of factors. One product that I did want to mention, and I don't care if it's gimmicky or whatever, like I personally like it and I have no scientific evidence if it actually works, but I use it so I wanted to, I guess, recommend it or just mention that I use it because it does have to do with lashes. This is the Rapid Lash Serum and I've bought probably three bottles of this and I think it makes a difference because I've you know, I don't think I used to have particularly long lashes before or, you know, a lot of them and now I feel like I do. You know, when I look at pictures of myself when I was, even in high school, I don't feel like my lashes were as long as they are right now. Basically, it's just a serum that you apply on your lashes. It kind of comes on like a little eyeliner brush and you just uh, brush it on your lash line. I do it like every night before I go to bed. It can be quite pricey depending on where and when you get it. It can range anywhere from like $27 all the way up to $50. I remember the first time I bought it, I think it was I think it was like Black Friday of 2016. So I bought it for I think like $30. And the second time I bought it was $40, so it really just depends when, again, when and where you buy it. But I guess this is just one of those things, like if you have the money to spend on it, or if, you know, Black Friday rolls around and it's on sale, or if it's just on sale at any point, try it out. If it doesn't work, then just don't buy it again. That's my philosophy on it. But yeah, I just wanted to recommend it in case you're looking for a lash serum. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. If you have any suggestions of videos that you would like me to do, then leave them down below. But otherwise, I hope you have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.